हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल भूमि वर्ल्ड होप एवरी वन इज़ डूइंग ग्रेट इफ़ यू हैवन वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज़ प्लीज गो ऑन चेक इट आउट नाउ सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज़ ट्राई कैच शेप एंड हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर ट्राई कैच शेप ऑन भूमि सो फर्स्ट वी लुक इन टू वॉट इज़ ट्राई कैच शेप ट्राई कैच शेप इज यूज टू कैप्चर द प्रोसेस लेवल एरर्स और डॉक्यूमेंट लेवल एरर्स फॉर वन और मोर डॉक्यूमेंट्स दट फेल ड्यूरिंग द एग्जीक्यूशन so the try catch paths are executed in separate execution threads try catch shape contains retry count and failure trigger options retry count option defines the maximum number of times a failed document will be retried through the main series of shapes after the try catch shape failure trigger option is used to specify the type of errors that the try catch shape catches whether it is a document level errors or process level errors okay so now we can look into how to configure try catch shape on bomi so try catch shape is one of the logical shape so you can find try catch shape under logical shapes so i'm just dragging and dropping the try catch shape so here you find try catch shape definition to capture unexpected process level or document level errors use the try catch shape documents that fail along the try path are then either retried or passed to the catch path for further processing documents handled with a try catch shape are not reported as failed in process reporting so this is the definition of the try catch shape so why we can use try catch shape on bomi suppose you have implemented one process and your client ask you to send some error messages or so in that case with the help of try catch shape you can capture all process level errors or document level errors and then you can send that error messages to the end customer so, so that end customers can get to know why the process got failed okay so in most of the interviews you will get one question like how you implement error handling method on bomi so for that one you have to answer like so with the help of try catch shape we can implement error handling method so now we can see how to configure if you want to capture all errors throughout the process wherever it got failed you have to place try catch shape at the beginning of the process so here we have configuration options we can see one by one so first we have display name so as i said this is not a mandatory field if you want to give any name you can give otherwise you can leave as it is and after that we have retry count option so retry count option defines the maximum number of times a failed document will be retried through the main series of shapes after the try catch shape suppose as per your requirement you have connected to one application sometimes we'll see server busy error uh, try again after some time like that errors we can see on some most of the browser applications right in similar way you can get that error messages on bomi as well while connecting to browser based applications so in that case customers may ask you to retry one more time if you get that similar kind of errors in that case you can use this retry count option up to 5 times we can retry the process so by default the retry count option will be zero so if it is zero the document will not be retried okay so if you set it to one if the connection got failed because of some server busy or anything it will try to connect one more time immediately the first retry occurs immediately following the first document failure suppose you have configured retry count as 2 if the document fails a second time the system waits for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds it will retry the connection okay if you set it to 3 the system waits 30 seconds after that it will retry if you set it to 4 system waits for 60 seconds and after 60 second it will retry the process so same way if you set retry count as 5 the system waits up to 120 seconds and then it will retry another time if still it fails then 
try catch shape captures the error messages and sent through the catch path so this retry count option may affect on performance so so in most of the cases we can't use retry count because for each and every retry count the system is waiting for some time right so it may affect on performance so that's why in most of the cases we'll configure retry count as zero only particular cases like when customer ask you to retry one more time in that cases only we can use this retry count to one or two or something like that okay so that depends on your requirement totally after that we have failure trigger option so by default it is a document error if you set failure trigger option as document errors it will capture only document related errors it won't capture any process level errors so if you want to capture all process level errors and document level errors that time you need to choose all errors so this is how we need to configure try catch shape on boomi okay so i'm just clicking on okay if your customer ask you to send failed messages in catch path we need to configure that requirements so basically any error messages captured by the try catch shape and those failed documents will send to the catch path okay so this is about try catch shape yeah that's it about today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye